Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 21st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And in general, on Friday, there were massive movements in the foreign exchange market. US dollar continues to appreciate, and that is having major impacts on most of these uh, currency pairs. So, Great British Pound, US dollar, as you can see, on Friday, we're down roughly 1%. We're approaching the 200 moving average down here at 1373. And at this current stage, we are significantly oversold and we're significantly overstretched. So, there has been a massive sell off from the highs here, that's roughly 2.7% in a week and a half. And that is a fairly big sell off for this, uh, this currency pair. So first of all, look at the Bollinger Band, we are significantly outside the lower part of the Bollinger Band. So pullback could be expected, we could see this rally up towards uh, the previous highs of this uh, candlestick, that's roughly 0.90% uh, to the upside. If we manage to break above there, then we could be heading towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. And that's a rally of roughly 2.2% to the upside. That will not occur at one uh, just one day, but but um, we could see a bounce from here as we are significantly overstretched and we're also significantly oversold. We have the 200 moving average right underneath and that should also offer quite a lot of support. However, if the 200 moving average breaks, then we're looking at a drop all the way down to the 300 moving average, another drop of roughly 2.3% to the downside. So inflation is uh, what is uh, spooking the market at the moment, and that the Fed is going to increase interest rate, even though that the Fed is basically saying that it's not going to increase interest rates until 2023. So, well, fair, uh, roughly 18 months into the future. So, yes, pullback, whether or not this is a um, change in direction of, of, of this uh, rally here, that is still to be seen. We need to basically break the 200 moving average. We need to see a lot of things happen here before we can conclude that. But massive sell-off has occurred. And at this moment, you should expect a rally because it is so overstretched and over oversold at this point. MACD, very negative. Stochastic is very negative. And so is the CCI. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. Nothing really happened here. Up in 0.03% went back and forward, still trading above the 20 exponential. And uh, at this current stage, we could go up, we could go down. It is a fairly big gamble where this technique is going at the moment. As long as the 20 exponential is holding, then we'll see a gradual a grind to the upside. If you manage to take out these previous highs here at 110,867, uh, then we are most likely going to retest these previous highs here at 111. So not that far away, but 40, 50, 20 exponential all have been uh, proven to be significant uh, support in the past. MACD is bullish, uh, RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and we're right here in the middle of nowhere in the Bollinger Band. So let's look at the um, Euro, US dollar, and just market just opened right now, and you can see we opened at 11.85. Also, Euro, US dollar has been absolutely hammered the last three days. We lost roughly 2.3, 2.4% in only uh, three trading days. And that's a massive breakdown. So we're trading as well underneath the 300 moving average. So that didn't hold at all. But we are significantly oversold, significantly overstretched, and a pullback from here. If we manage to break above the 300 moving average, we could be heading back towards 100 moving average. And that's a rally of roughly 1.3% to the upside. Due to the fact that we are so oversold and overstretched, then we could expect a rally um, either on Monday's session or on, on Tuesday's sessions, because you can only stretch this market um, so far before it snaps back. It doesn't mean that we will not drop further, but when you have this kind of a pullback, um, or a breakdown, it usually has a minor pullback before going lower. So MACD is negative, stochastic is negative, the CCI is negative, and so is uh, definitely the RSI. And we are way overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. 
we very interesting the market just opened and as you can see we have basically found support at the 300 moving average it could mean that we'll rally from here up towards the 200 moving average roughly two percent to the upside this has lost roughly 3.8 percent in only a week and a half and that is huge it is oversold significantly overstretched there and the other technical indicators are very negative but it ended right at the 300 moving average which is um well fairly important because as long as we don't break below the 300 moving average it will act as support and we could see this rally up towards the 200 moving average again and the question will be there whether or not that will hold as um, resistant or we just basically go back to the previous highs break below the 300 moving average then the bottom basically breaks uh, for this uh, currency pair so us dollar canadian dollar very interesting here as well we have reached up towards the 150 moving average before the last time we were there we was basically in november last year when we went up towards 150 but this has rallied well give or take we were roughly here rallied roughly 3.7 percent to the upside it is significantly overstretched broken through the resistant uh, barrier the question is whether or not we break back down towards the support level here we are significantly overbought. Other technical indicators are very, uh, very bullish at this point. But due to the fact that we are so overstretched and so overbought, a uh, um, breakdown from here kind of should be expected. And the question is whether or not the previous resistance line around 12 25 will act as support now or we break back down towards these very lows. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. Thank you, Luck, and thank you very much.